We're looking now at November titles. Still Standing by Rachel Mann uh, is the latest of DLT's really popular movie-based Lent courses for small groups. Now, this year, Rachel, who wrote uh, the Lent course a couple of years ago from now on, uh, is back and she's based the course on the huge Elton John musical biographical film, Rocket Man. Now, at first thought, uh, an Elton John film might seem an odd choice for a Lent course, given uh, Elton's well-documented hedonistic early years, uh, but his journey is actually an incredibly human, relatable story. Uh, it's an explore exploration in discovering who we really are, uh, the temptations of fame and success, repentance, uh, facing the truth and starting again. And as you might expect from, um, from now on, Rachel is really, really good at identifying these themes and she relates them to the Lenten gospel themes, uh, Lenten gospel stories with skill and style. Uh, Still Standing has all the hallmarks of a really popular small group Lent course. Uh, it's a colourful, feel-good movie, some great songs and some prompts for really deep, important discussions to help the group dynamic flow. Uh, now this will be a 6.99 A format paperback and we'll be offering all the usual great deals for buying packs of the book. Encounters is the first book by Bishop Rachel Troik. Uh, who is the Bishop of Gloucester. Uh, and was the first woman to be appointed a diocesan bishop in the Church of England. It's a wonderful book, a deeply spiritual uh, and personal, um, and it explores 16 gospel passages uh, that each describe encounters between Jesus and ordinary people around him. Uh, each chapter then developing into stories about how particular encounters have shaped Bishop Rachel's life and faith and encouraging the reader to think about their own stories of faith. And uh, it also includes a chapter written very recently which reflects on life as affected by the coronavirus and social isolation um, and interesting to look at themes of encounter uh, at a time when we haven't been able to encounter each other in the same way. Uh, Justin Welby has written a foreword to the book, including the line, she, uh, Bishop Rachel, is a testament to the fact that if you invite Jesus into your life, he will be there every step of the way, throughout the tribulations as well as the triumphs. So Encounters will be published as a trade paperback priced uh, at twelve ninety nine. Also in November, we have the first of uh, two books. The Sunday Gospels are two attractive little books containing all the gospel readings from the Sunday Masses of the three-year Catholic liturgy using the text of the Revised New Jerusalem Bible. Carefully laid out for daily reading, a devotional daily reading, uh, each Sunday scripture is followed by a short commentary and questions for reflection by Father Adrian Graffy, uh, who is a parish priest in the Diocese of Brentwood uh, and a much respected biblical scholar. He's actually the only British representative on the Pontifical Biblical Commission. Uh, the books are arranged by season. Uh, so the first book, which is coming in November, uh, is covers Advent, Christmas, Lent and Easter. And the second book covers ordinary time. Um, and each one contains readings uh, and reflections uh, for 
the years A, B and C of the liturgy. Uh, just to repeat that, each book has all three years, A, B and C, uh, different readings for each year, or rather different readings and reflections. Um, and they're the perfect companion to Sunday Mass for Catholics uh, and can be read at home as well as at church uh, by anyone wanting to see the Gospel readings in the new RNJV text. Uh, they'll be familiar to everyone who's grown up with the Jerusalem Bible readings, while fresher and more accurate following Father Henry Wandsborough's expert revision of the text. And with many people still advocating for the RNJB to be adopted by the Catholic Church as its lectionary Bible in English speaking countries, these books present a wonderful way of getting to know the key texts better. Uh, so just to repeat, uh, the Sunday Gospels are being published in two volumes. Um, the first one in November, uh, Advent, Christmas, Lent and Easter and then the readings for ordinary time will be released in January. Uh, and each book is an attractively designed cased edition uh, with the great price of just £9.99.